Hi, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Okay, so I want to teach you guys a trick on how to make your fills sound a lot more complex, a lot more dynamic, and it's so simple. It just is the incorporation of putting rolls in your fills. It's, it's so simple, but you, you'll see that it makes your, your, your fills just so much more dynamic and complex. All right, so generally we do eighth notes, sixteenth notes, thirty-second notes, sixty-fourth notes even, whatever, uh, combinations on our toms. All right, whatever. Now, what if we were to instead um, add some rolls to our our fill. So if we keep a kind of like basic beat, you know, whatever, open hand, which means playing high hat with your left hand. So if we were doing something, you know, whatever, you know. What was that? Well, normally, right, the cliche fill would be preferably starting with the right hand with that particular fill because you want to end on your left and be ready to crash with your right. If I end it with my right, I have to cross over my left, which is awkward, or I'll come all the way back over here, or all the way over here. I always think least distance possible, least amount of energy, effort. It creates more ergonomics, which means both speed, dynamics, and everything else. Okay, so we just caused a roll on the first stroke of each 16th note, meaning on the one. So one, two, three. Great. Um, what if we put it on the second one? Interesting, right? So with the beat. Keeping the head on the off beat, right? Which is interesting as well. Um, what do you put on the third one? So So 
work on with the fill. Hi hat and cymbal combination. an idea that you can add so much more complexity by just simple things like that. Um, just doing a floor thumb to the snare. I'm throwing things without my head. Adding a little drag in there as well, so it is kind of a roll, but you know, it's more... some color and uh, more panorama to your drumming. Uh, keep watching, keep learning, um, keep rocking. Yeah.